honey, I didn't. No, get I just got a little bit. Okay, loose, that's all. Well, I'm okay now. Thank you. Thanks. I'm sorry about the mess. You cut yourself. <sighs> well, I owe you one after dropping the test tubes last night. <laughs> Those test tubes were empty. This is. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway, Still? I thought you were off. Duty a couple oh. of hours ago. No, I'm pulling an extra shift. They're short handed. Is everything okay in here? Uh, Annie, be careful with it. You want to touch I don't need any help. Thank you, Doctor. All right, Joshua. Come on, get a grip. Get a grip. You haven't gone completely around the bend yet, just about halfway, but not all the way. Oh, look! It's Reva's diary. Ha! Ah. On the coffee table now. I put it in the drawer last night, but that's okay because people see things all the time. People see uh, uh, relatives from the past and uh, uh, spaceships, uh, aliens, ghosts, and they're not all crazy, right? Yeah, maybe a maybe a vast majority of them are, but certainly not all of them. There are more uh, there are more things in heaven and earth a ratio than are dreamt of. That was Shakespeare. He was a good guy. He believed in ghosts. It's okay. It's okay, Josh. Stop me from making my call to my friend last night, huh? Are you really here, Reba? I didn't think so. Heaven help me. Static, See, that's the problem with you doctors. Is you the worst patients? Humor me, please. Come on, be careful. I'm perfectly fine. No, just... Oh, okay. It's that's... my right. ankle. Right, back on here. I just cut the circulation off in my foot no, from having it tucked standing, under me, that's all. Your pressure is a lot less. Probably dehydrated. Have you been experiencing a lot of nausea? I just can't eat the food here, that's all. You know what it tastes like, Rick. Annie, tell him. I'm going to start you on fluids. Nurse, I'd like to get a bag of lactated ringers, please, at 200 cc per hour times one liter. It's time for your medication, Dr. Guthrie. Oh, great. Thanks. I'll see you later. Be right back, Eve. Yeah, I'll see you later. I'll stop by, okay? Mm -hmm. Andy, I've never known you to let your personal problems interfere with your job. If you have complaints about I've the job I do I've got complaints about your doctor. attitude. It stinks, Annie. You're furious at me, and you're making your feelings obvious to the patients. It's unprofessional behavior. I disagree, Doctor. I think that your behavior is unprofessional. You're the one that wants to bring up the past and, and give advice. But it's not solicited yes, as far about... As giving advice, yes, I have given you advice because I care about you, Annie, and I hate seeing you make the same mistake over and over and over again. Well, that's your opinion, yes, Rick. Yes, it is. It is my opinion. And make sure to keep my thoughts and feelings strictly between the two of us. They have no place in that room with that patient. You know, I've heard about this kind of thing happening to people, but not to people like me. 
Why not, bud? Because you become such an old stick in the mud. I'm thinking this is because I was reading that diary last night that I'm hallucinating. <laughs> I'm no figment of your imagination, Joshua. Really? Well, what are you, then? What, what, what did Scrooge say? You're some uh, undigested piece of last night's supper, is that it? Yeah. You're gonna take me on a tour now of my past life, ending up with my dismal future, standing over a, a graveyard, a tombstone, <laughs> with my name on it on a rainy night with no one there to mourn me? What, you think this is funny? No, no. I think you're funny, Joshua. I think you're absolutely adorable and always were. And I'm no ghost from Christmas past, present, or future. And I'm not here to get you to change your wicked, wicked ways. I don't think you're here at all. Ask me something. Anything, I'll prove it. Will they still be playing baseball in 50 years? <laughs> be serious. Okay, how about next week? <laughs> what, you want me to be serious? If I really believe this, I might as well commit myself right now. <laughs> Ask me something about us. About our lives together. I used to dream about you every night for years and it was so real to me I could I could feel you I could I could see your smile I could smell your hair and your skin it was like you were right there with me but you know what every single time I would wake up and you'd be gone just like now in a few minutes I'm wake up and you are going to be gone. Go, Joshua. It isn't a dream. It is me. It's really me. It's Reva, your wife. The mother of your two children. The same woman who showed up for our wedding in a rowboat and cried with joy to see you standing there on the dock in that white linen suit. Because you were and you still are the handsomest man in the world. The same woman who jumped into that icy river and pulled you out because she was so crazy in love with you that she couldn't imagine life in this world without you. Are you telling me that you didn't drown when that car went off that bridge? Are you telling me that you are here now for real to be with me and our children? give anything if I could. But you can't. So go away. Leave me alone. Let me live my life in peace before I go completely insane. You really want me to go? Yes, I want you to go! going to live my life if the image of my dead wife keeps popping up everywhere. You mean, how are you going to have a love life? Well, that's part of my life, too. What did you expect me to remain celibate for the rest of my days? I expected you to be deliriously happy to see oh, me God. as I am to see you. I am deliriously happy. Can't you tell? I'm also freaked out because I know that sooner or later I'm going to wake up from this dream and you're going to be gone. How do you know that? I know because I know. Where's the bug spray? What? Because you are still as obstinate and as bullheaded as you were that day. What day? That day. What, what day are that you talking day, that about? That first day that we went into that ranger lookout. It's just a quarter of a mile down the road Yeah, I know where there, it is. And we had ourselves one hell of a good scrape that day. And there you were. Standing there in that little Boy Scout cap with nothing else on to speak of. And you were so damned insufferable that day that I grabbed onto the closest thing I could, the, whatever was handy, which happened to be a can of bug spray. And I whacked you over the head so hard that you swore to me afterwards that you saw stars. 